Hello everyone, we're back again with another video. Today is going to be an interview between myself and Bart K on the Cerule products. I mentioned that this was going to come out very soon, and today is the day. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys learned something, and I hope this clears up any questions that you or someone else and everyone else, all of my viewers, may have had further about Cerule products that I did not cover in my video, whether that relates to the products themselves or the business of Cerule. So, with that being said, let's waste no further time and let's get right into the interview. Well, welcome back to the channel for the third time, I think. I've been telling my viewers that we would give them all of the information we could about Cerule with respect to their products, but also their business. That's important. And we'll get to that later down the line in the end. And I thought the best person to ask of this would be you. So we'll just jump right into the question since that's how I like to do things. What exactly is the Stem Enhance Ultra product, the flagship product of Cerule out of the five flagship products that there are? And how exactly does it work? Okay, Stem Enhance Ultra, the primary flagship product of the Cerule company in my mind, is a preparation derived from a blue-green cyanobacter, which lives in this one lake in Oregon. Happens to be a volcanically fed lake, happens to have a rich and particular mixture of nutrients in the lake that allows this particular species to thrive. It has a massive and capacious ability to fill the water with these green filament-like structures that look quite a bit like sort of seagrass, leading a lot of people to imagine this stuff to be a plant. Nope. Colonies of cyanobacteria, which are neither plants nor animals. They're their own kingdom in between. Actually, cyanobacter were the first things to evolve on the planet, we believe, way back when. So anyway, they've discovered this active ingredient that exists naturally inside this blue-green cyanobacter called AFA, and the company has a process by which they can activate it, a proprietary process, to make it do what it does in its natural form straight out of the lake. And it's, it's not going to do that. We need to do a confirmational thing. And the product is filtered via a proprietary filtration system that removes toxins that you will find in blue-green cyanobacteria that live in lakes. And again, what, what I'm saying is that the Cerule company is the only company with access to the technologies that activate the stuff and clean it up. Other companies sell dried AFA powder. No good. Stay away from that. All right, so there's that. What does it do? The active ingredient is what we call a ligator in health science. Think of it as a pair of scissors for a particular strand of protein. When these scissors find this protein, snip, 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 they'll chop it up, break it down. Excellent. Which protein? It's a protein that is a tether, for want of a better term, where a master adult stem cell in the bone marrow will be tethered to its daughter cell, that daughter cell being the one that's ready for release to the bloodstream to go and do magic things that stem cells do. But it can't just go off whenever it feels like it. It's tethered with this protein called L-selectin. The active ingredient in Stem Enhanced Ultra is a pair of scissors for that protein. Snip, 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 chop it up. Daughter, adult stem cell is now free to float off into the bloodstream and find some tissue somewhere around the body that it can replace with a new one, allowing the master stem cell to then regather its various accoutrements and impedimenta together, get its life together and get ready to divide again, producing another daughter cell with another tether waiting for release. So basically... That's what this product does. It upregulates your ability to release adult stem cells in a way that can never, ever have any effect over your supply of or store of stem cells. Brilliant. That sounds so pretty good. Uh... Yeah. If you understand anything about what adult stem cells do in a body, including a human body, you're probably sold already by now. You're probably going, well, where do we get it from? Right. Yeah. So that would be shortcutting the whole process. So let's go through the questions. Yeah, and not only do they actually differentiate into new cells and actually those cells being of new cell lines, but they also, in the same process, exude what are called exosomes. And I actually have questions about that later on. We'll awesome. get into what exosomes yes, even are. Yes, yeah. you bet. Mm. So you already mentioned that other products, there are probably hundreds that sell a concentrated form of this compound AFA. And I've looked into that as well. There's so many products online. So that was actually one of the next questions was what makes it different? And you just explained part of it, but let's just play a little bit of devil's advocate. What if someone doesn't really care too much about that toxin load because they say it's negligible? What actually makes the AFA in Cerule more effective than the AFA in those other products? Is it activated or is there some other process that it needs to go through or something like that? That's yeah, it's the proprietary activation process that okay. 
configures this naturally occurring ingredient in such a way as to have maximum effect on a human body. In its natural form, without this activation process, vastly less effective, as well as, as you've just covered, vastly more potentially toxic. Heavy metals, you know, things that these bacteria, cyanobacteria, are known to accumulate. Okay. So what studies actually show its efficacy then? So it's one thing to say it works. What studies show its efficacy? What methods were involved in those studies? And how many studies actually demonstrate its efficacy? Yeah. Okay. In terms of studies that directly address the efficacy of the particular active ingredient in Stem Enhance Ultra, there is one study that we go to for that. The caveats on it are that because of its power, the sample size, the number of people tested, it has to be thought of as pilot work, really, in my mind. It's not hugely statistically powerful. Signal to noise ratio issues, the usual kinds of problems. However, that said, what it indicates is that in X number, I can't remember the exact number, it might have been 12 participants, doing a cell count from a collection of mixed venous blood X number of minutes after administration of this product or the placebo, random order, there was something like an increase in the concentration of adult stem cells in the samples that averaged, I think it was four and a half half million extra circulating adult stem cells was the estimate of the effect systemically, which peaked at about two hours post-ingestion of two capsules of Stem Enhance Ultra, which then drifts back down to baseline over the next two to four hours. So it's a four to six hour window that the stuff works over. Okay. I actually don't even think that I've heard of that study before. I thought you were going to cite another one with the jellyfish okay, so protein. Yeah, okay, so you mean the stuff that shows that adult stem cells do what we think they do. What they think they do. Now, the caveat on this is people need to understand about this bit. None of the stuff I'm about to talk to you about in this section is anything that has anything to do with Cyril. They did not do this work. They did not sanction this work. Their product was not used in this work. This is just work that's been done by others showing certain things occur. So I will describe it to you as dispassionately as possible. Here it is. A fluorescent green jellyfish protein was discovered in a deep sea jellyfish that was doing fluorescent green signaling to its mates or whatever else. Some scientists got hold of that gene, spliced it out of that animal and did what they do to it to make it viable so that they can use it later in their manipulations, machinations and other evil doings. What they then did is got a bunch of genetically identical copies of a certain line of meses, mouses and mices, rodents, those little guys, little white ones with pink eyes and those guys. And they got a nice needle and went into the bone marrow of these meses, mice, and whatever else. Not mooses. No, no mooses involved. They took some adult stem cells from each of these mices, meses, and they stored them according to this is this animal sample, this is this animal sample. All the animals are tagged. We know which one's which, all of that. So that goes into storage. The next thing we do is irradiate all the mice with a quite large dose of a kind of radiation that kills adult stem cells, thus leaving these mice unable to renew and repair their bodies anymore. They are now basically doomed. Except what the scientists that did this work then decided to do was to splice the green jellyfish protein, which does not exist in mice, into the mice's meses, into their stem cells, and then reintroduce those stem cells that have had that gene spliced in back into the mice, sample per mouse, so that all these mice then regrew a population of adult stem cells. Hey, presto, everything should be fine now. The mice will live out their lives happily, except they now can express this green protein. I wish the story was that nice. It isn't. Because what they then did is they injured the mice variously. Actual injuries, fractured bones, torn muscles, surgical wounds, imposed strokes, hemorrhages, all sorts of nasty stuff on these animals. And then during the healing phase, they have fed half of the mice a placebo and half of the mice some form of stem cell encourager. Not a cerule product, by the way. What were the results? The mice healed from these injuries imposed by 
by the research team. It seemed that the mice who were given the stem cell enhancing treatment seemed to heal more rapidly. Fine, okay. Whether they did or not, that wasn't the outcome metric in the study. The outcome metric in the study was what they then did is sacrifice all the mice so that they can sample the tissues that were injured and put them under a microscope and see what they see in those tissues. And what they see is in the mice that got the placebo, faint expressions of green protein under a fluorescent lighting source under a microscope. Well, look, one or two of these cells are expressing that protein. So that proves absolutely that adult stem cells in mice do renew and repair cells of all sorts other than what we thought the range of what they would do. It turns out these things are much more pluripotent than what we thought. We thought they just became red cells, white cells, occasionally immune cells. No, they can turn into anything in your body except sperm or eggs basically. Anyway, the mice that had the actual enhancing stuff, whatever that was, their tissues that were injured placed under the microscope, black light, bright green, proving absolutely that not only do adult stem cells in the normal natural course of things end up replacing damaged cells with new ones, but if you encourage an unnaturally high release of these things, that the results, because uh, the only way that protein could be expressed by those cells is if those cells were adult stem cells in the bone marrow previously. So that's the work that proves stem cell efficacy. Yes, yes, in mice. There is no reason to believe whatsoever that the human system of these exact same cell lines works any differently. Right. So there we go. Okay, so we know then that those adult stem cells do what we say they do, right? We know that the cerule product, the active ingredient, allows for the, let's say, exudation of them from the bone marrow, right? So I said that we were going to talk about exosomes. Can you talk about what exosomes are and how they're involved with respect to stem enhanced ultra and its mechanisms? You know, what it effectuates within the body, what they actually do. Got it. Yeah, I mean, almost everybody and their auntie have probably heard of exosomes at least once by now because they have been all the talk. Exosomes are thought of as being the encapsulating agent, if you like, much like cholesterol and other lipids are carried by mostly an LDL. The same way as that a viral particle can't just be in a body, it needs to be in a package that means it will interact with that body in the way it needs to. It needs to have a lipid membrane. And that's what an exosome is thought of by most people. Exosomes are actually much more diverse than that in their existence and, and functionality in biology. Turns out that every cell in your body can produce exosomes, actually. They can invaginate, produce a lipid particle, and then put transporters on that membrane to pump any number of things in or out of that sac, and then eject that sac to message chemically between cells or whatever else. Partial peptides, sometimes fully formed proteins even, whatever you want to put in there, first aid kits, or self-destruct instructions. Adult stem cells eject tens of thousands of these exosomes per hour as long as they're undifferentiated into an adult stem line. Inside these exosomes, you will find first aid kits for damaged cells that aren't so badly damaged that they just simply need replacing. Oh, look, I see you have that damage here. Have the cure for that. Here it is. Inflammation. They can directly send the message, calm down now, it's all good. Ending a cytokine storm, perhaps. That could have otherwise been potentially very problematic or indeed fatal. And it can send a message to a cell line saying, you probably better just self-destruct, actually, because I don't like the look of you. So any cell with a cancer flag can attract a stem cell to produce an exosome to tell that cell to bust itself. So all things that science is working on elucidating these processes as we speak. But it's, it's an area of fascinating and ongoing development. Yeah, I was going to say it's bemusing to certain scientists or some scientists still even to how these exosomes actually do such a thing. Yeah, well, that, they're, all, they're just molecules that trigger the production of other molecules that trigger the production of other molecules. There's a cascade, a right. mechanism so vastly complex that it's taken me several decades plus to get anywhere near any kind of working comprehension of it. And I'm not saying I'm there. It's just the right key for the right lock that sets off a cascade of events that is designed to lead to an outcome. Right. So I guess one of the final questions that I'll ask about the product then is, are there any products on the market that come even close to demonstrating as much efficacy in ameliorating inflammation compared to Cerule that you've seen throughout the entire time you've been a scientist up until now? 
I haven't seen a paper produced by a scientist peer-reviewed independently and published in an independent journal from any other company's product for their claims at a biological level. The caveat to that, I haven't really been looking for it either because I found a product that I can absolutely get behind, believe in, a company I can work with, a company that listens to what I have to say to them about the products and how they're developed ongoingly, about a company with ethics beyond belief in terms of the goodness of those ethics. And a company which, you know, fortunately has now provided me, it seems, with the exact route for my financial and time freedom ongoingly, potentially for the rest of, which will be great. Yeah, we'll definitely be getting to that towards the end of Good. this, for sure. Good. Good. And then finally, I guess, uh, who, who should be taking the supplement, do you think? What demographic? I think... Yeah, I think pretty much any human being over about 18 years of age with or without any obvious health complaint, condition, niggle, problem, issue. Why? Well, it would seem via the mechanism of action of this stuff that it would make it more likely that that situation continues. So it's prophylactic, potentially. We're not allowed to make any therapeutic claims. I'm not saying it is prophylactic. I'm saying theoretically, based on what we understand about what this stuff is and what it does, you do the math on it, okay? Right. Yes, everybody over 18 with a health complaint or not. How much you take would depend on how severe you, any complaint is that you do have. And you can certainly talk to any of us behind the scenes to get our mantra on that. If you are under 18 and have health concerns, probably a good idea to help potentially with ameliorating that situation in some way, on some level. I always advocate for a wellness pack, which is a three, four or six bottle package of products which come self-populated or you can populate them yourselves. But I say we need Stem Enhance Ultra. We need Cyactive. That's our anti-inflammatory. And we need Plasma Flow, which is the blood flow optimizer, meaning that stem cells release can get to where they need to be instead of clogging up on blocked arteries. And well, not arteries, they're actually capillaries that I get blocked up with fibrin. So that's the three products that I advocate for. Absolutely. There are other products which are additional to those, which I personally see as additional if, if a person wants to. Eddie's talking about five flagship products and i'm quite happy for him to do that as well we'll be but those yeah. are the three yeah we can yeah. talk about those others if you like as well and obviously the best the best price if you're going to pay for them is to get a wellness pack because you get a discount on buying the individual products on a quick order individually and on an auto ship wellness pack you also don't pay for your shipping so there's another another saving there as well <laughs> really worth doing yeah well, that's actually what does it mean if you're paying for them <laughs> We can get products for free. Yes. Stick around till the end. We'll talk about that later, won't we, Eddie? Yes, definitely. And that's a good segue. You starting to talk about plasma flow because that was the second one I was going to start talking about. So nice. yeah, plasma flow. Tell us about that. How does plasma flow work? You talked about the capillaries as Americans call them, uh, but yes, you capillaries, know. Yeah. capillaries. Yeah. Plasma flow is ostensibly an enzyme preparation, which is a particular enzyme that will bind to a particular protein and chomp, 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 cutting that protein out, breaking that protein down so that it becomes detritus to be flushed away for either recycling or excretion as the case may be. Which protein? The protein is called fibrin and it's a thrombotic, a clotting agent. It's also expressed as much like a spider webby type structure, or you might think of it as cotton wool. The net that's like matrix. A yeah. netty, meshy matrix. Yes, exactly. Why? It is in response to inflammation. Fibrin, when you are not inflamed, is liquid in your blood plasma, and it's called fibrinogen in that case. When you get inflamed, a bunch of cytokines get activated, one of which interacts with fibrinogen in such a way as to cause it to precipitate out, drops out of the solution, becomes physically solid. Why? Well, to lock down areas of the body in case there's an invading pathogen causing this inflammation. It's brilliant. It works great. It's the exact way you're designed to work. You're also designed to get inflamed, rarely, if at all, pretty much on a on a week-by-week -week basis. We live lifestyles now that cause us to be so inflamed so much of the time that a lot of us just have these meshes in our capillaries all the time, meaning you can release any number of stem cells you like. They meet the mesh, they jam up there, they can't get to where they would actually leave the blood and enter into your body in the capillaries. So we need to clear that out of the way. Right. Primarily, whenever you've talked about it, I've heard that it's particularly for microvasculature. Is that the case for macrovasculature, though? And if not, why not? It's less so because the fibrin deposits tend to precipitate out in the microvasculature specifically. Okay.
they have a role in blocking up that microvasculature to stop formed elements like invading bacteria or viral particles with exosomes from getting through, but still allowing the blood plasma to pass through the liquid part of it, and it stops anything of that size or above from moving, so that we can send some white cells in to attack these invading things that are locked down here, nom nom nom, no problem. Now we resolve the information and get on with our lives, except by then you've eaten the next hot dog with a bread bun around it, or you've drunk that next six pack of beer, or you've smoked that cigarette, or you've breathed the air, or something, you know, in which case now your fibrin's all dropping out again because you're inflamed again whoops yeah okay and then finally with that one what's the primary compound that does grant that product the ability or it's, at least the complex if there is just mul if it's a multi right. it's 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 an enzyme that's labeled on the bottle i think they've given it a company specific name because this is their proprietary one or something i could check into it but i think it's to, it's i think it's a an enzyme that's derived from some process involving mold okay as the producing organism that makes this stuff. Again, filtration process, we don't have toxins to speak of at all in the Cerule products. It's a, it's, okay. it's a very, it's a company absolute in terms of those kind of toxins. Okay. And then finally, the answer that you gave for who should be taking this supplement for Stem Enhance Ultra, I'm assuming is applied ubiquitously or universally to all of the other products, correct? Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. The next one that I'm actually curious about and is uh, on the way for me is Cyactive and Cyactive Joint because it's very similar formulas, just one is tailored for joints particularly. So yeah. first question with that one, how does that product work? I've heard some about it in other interviews, interactions with the cyclooxygenase and lipoxygenase enzymes and stuff like that, primarily cyclooxygenase, I believe, but yeah. how does that one work? Okay, the primary active ingredient in Cyactive is another derivative from another cyanobacter. Okay. I'm sensing, case, a theme. You... I'm sensing a theme. Yeah, here. well, yeah. perhaps, perhaps. Yeah. The, the thing here is that the cyanobacter that this stuff is derived from is one you will have heard of, spirulina. Mm, yeah. This is where it comes from. Now, is this just dried spirulina? No. Should you consume dried spirulina? No. For the reasons that we spoke about earlier, or AFA, the stuff that the stem enhancers derive from, toxic issues, all of that. Yeah. This is a blue pigment. It looks like powdered Smurfs, or what you would imagine powdered Smurfs look like when Azriel finally gets his way, or whatever. What this thing does is it directly knocks down the activity of both LOX and COX pro-inflammatory pathways, in short, is what it does. And it does that without the side effects that you ubiquitously find with pharmaco agents that do the same thing. This is a clean, natural thing, and its efficacy is beyond explanation. Right. So without the associated liver and kidney damage <laughs> that go it. with things like yeah. ibuprofen and Tylenol, which fun fact for anyone watching, Tylenol's mechanisms are not known by scientists. They don't know how it works. Not one person knows how that thing works. So good. I also heard that it sort of, it activates with a particular cyclooxygenase enzyme as opposed to all of them. COX-1, there's COX-2, and most of the pharmaceuticals interact with both. And apparently the people have suggested there's problems if there's COX-2 interaction and stuff like that. Not sure of the veracity of those claims, but it seems to be that it does work slightly differently, even though the mechanisms are similar. So Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you, you've, you've already kind of proposed the mechanism there by way of bypassing what some people are saying is a potential problem with this issue. Right. And that's great to go to the bottom of that rabbit hole and look at those mechanisms and stuff. And I fully support that. And I love that thinking. That said, I go back to the other end of the spectrum of evidences because it seems to be the overriding thing. And I go, I know thousands of people taking this product. What have they said to me? What have I seen about their experience with it? And we can talk about that when we're done with the science, right. if you like. Right. Mm. Yep. Now, since they're cyactive and cyactive joint, what makes those two different from each other? Mm. Cyactive joint is just formulated for those who specifically have joint issues, rheumatic issues, but perhaps that kind of thing, maybe other autoimmune things here and there. There's all sorts of magic stuffs in it, additional to the cyactive base ingredient, including eggshell linings, which mm. apparently are magics in that regard for some in some way, and all sorts of other things in some herbal extracts, or you'd call them herbal. Mises, mices, potatoes, potatoes, let's call the whole thing off. So that's cyactive joint, all humor and liberty aside, it is a joint issues specific formulation based on the base ingredient of cyactive as the starting point yeah okay okay and that brings me to the final flagship one which is collagen active yeah so why is marine collagen used in the collagen active product as opposed to bovine collagen 
It's around both apparent absorbability and sustainability issues, it seems. The full details of that I haven't looked into that closely, but everyone I've spoken to who knows anything about it in the industry and around it has always gone, oh, perfect, good, it's marine, that's the good stuff. And I've gone, fine, and I haven't checked out exactly why that is. At the end of the day, it's an animal-sourced thing. Absolutely, of course it is. The product, I believe, is manufactured from fish skins. Right. Awesome. Fishkins that would otherwise have been discarded for some reason. Yeah, I thought it was interesting. I heard, I've heard many people over the course of years, actually, they've said that marine collagen is far more absorptive than yeah. bovine collagen. Now, I, again, I don't know the integrity of those claims, but hey, you know what? Collagen is only found in animal products, so at least you're getting collagen in some form or another because plants are not going to really have collagen. They may have amino acids that are not bioavailable for utility in the body. So. Mm. Mm. for the structure of collagen. So, okay, then finally with the skincare products, there's some questions that I've actually been asked before about these. But before we even get to those, again, same as always, how do the skincare products work? Do they use very similar compounds? Is it always focused around their proprietary blend like the others are, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah, okay. The flagship of the skincare range is the AFA Night Cream. Mm -hmm which contains the same active ingredient as the Stem Enhance Ultra, except that in this case, you put it on your skin in this formulation. Your skin absorbs that, and it brings forward the stem cells in the dermis under your skin and says, now is your time. Be free. And, okay. Yeah. Make, make people look younger than they are. Now, here's the contentious question. What about the seed oils in them? Are they negligible? What are they used for within the product? Mm. The Cerule company are marketing to a general audience rather than a carnival-specific audience. And they are working in many regards to industry standards and vastly above on many, many issues. They are also a company with people whose ethics are just outstanding, as I've alluded to. And seed owners of company are folks who will listen to what we have to say. And I am engaging in such discussions with the company around some of the ingredients and in some of their products, which may or may not actually be problematic in the form that they are being delivered up to a person's body. But people have concerns and it seems like the carnivore community, well, we have our share of extremists just like any other cult, don't we? Because we're yeah. a cult, of course. Of course. And of course, we, we do have, have our extremists, though. We do have the extremists. We do. Absolutely, I, yeah. of course. Yeah. And so there are people saying, no, I'm not touching anything that's got seed oils in it, even if it's only being applied to my skin. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, if it's it applied. If it's applied to the skin, if my opinion means anything to any of the viewers, I don't think that it's that big of a deal. Yes, your skin does absorb quite a bit of what is on it, but it's not the same as introducing it into your bloodstream. So we've covered the flagship products, we covered the skincare products, we touched on it a little bit. So really the other questions that we need to ask, are there any side effects of any of these products at all? Well, in my personal experience, other than the vast improvement in my health coincident with my taking of this product, no. Same here. <laughs> Same for many others. I, I'm in touch with many, many thousands of people taking this product, many thousands. And in the five years I've been promoting this product publicly with my full backing and support, the number of genuine or problematic issues reported to me are none. Good. I'm assuming that goes for the company too. No one else in there has really heard of any... There was one issue I heard about with the predecessor company, the company that kind of had the access to this product and technology before Cerule ended up with it. Apparently some shellfish protein got into one batch somehow one time and somebody had a reaction to the shellfish protein that was never supposed to be in the product anyway. At that time, that predecessor company pulled its socks up, smartened its boots up and came up with this now Cerule proprietary filtration system. That's what precipitated the development of this thing, I believe. Right. So not any of the active ingredients, none of that. It was just no. a, okay. Yep. An allergic reaction to shellfish protein Right. that somehow got into a batch. Okay. Now this one is one question, but there's sort of three in it. It's a shorter one though. What is the minimum and what is the maximum dose of these supplements? When should you take a higher dose in your opinion? And is it ever dangerous to take a high dose? Right. What we suggest for a person with no obvious health complaints, concerns, niggles, or problems of any kind, perfect health, number one, 
how dare you? And number two, you can just take the suggested dosage on the bottle. Two tablets once or twice a day. Then we have kind of other levels at like six capsules a day or eight, or in some extreme cases, 16. Mm -hmm. Being the now top should... level at which there's any further additional effect because your body maxes out its capacity around about 16. Right. And I'm assuming, I've heard you say before, you shouldn't probably take all 16 in one go or one hit. Probably about four at once, four times during the day. That's it. Yeah. Right. Four okay. times four in that case. Okay. Yeah. And then you get this four releases during the day. Good. Okay. Now, should that's that... For people, that's for people in really poor health. Right. Or that, that really want to expedite healing from something or whatever. And, Okay. And you already covered this sort of in the beginning, but just to iterate for people, what are the primary products out of the ones we have that you would recommend personally? Right. Always I recommend what I consider to be the three flagships or four if you count the joint version of Cyactive. So we've got Stem Enhance Ultra as an absolute, Cyactive as an absolute, Plasma Flow, not quite as absolute, but nearly as absolute in terms of my veracity with which I say you need it. And obviously if they've got joint specific, rheumatism specific, then we say you might think about Cyactive joint as opposed to standard Cyactive. From there, I say the Collagen Active, which also has the Cyactive in it. That's why it's called Active Collagen active that i say to a person is an optional product we know with experience it is synergistic with the three main products we know that it, people universally report all sorts of incredible things about their life and condition when they take the collagen active it's one of those products that have ingredients in it though in small amounts that we might question such as an artificial sweetener or indeed actual sugar depending on which market you're in because the formulations are a bit different from here to there so people need to be aware it's there right I don't have a problem with it. Me a neither. tiny amount of innocuous end artificial sweeteners that just make the thing palatable. Others are extreme and they will go, we don't want anything to do with that. Okay, yeah. that's your call. I don't care. Yeah. It doesn't I, change my life. <laughs> I try and, you know? I, yeah, I tell people, I say, it's not like those emergency vitamin C packets that have like 10 grams of fructose put in there to make it palatable. Yeah, it's no, not like that no, at no. all. And also, if you are living an anti-inflammatory lifestyle or what we believe to be the most anti-inflammatory lifestyle, the carnivore diet, properly tenured, properly fortified one for sure, as well as taking these other cereal products, it's like you said, innocuous, negligible. It's trivial, yeah, really, in the grand scheme of yeah. things. And that's what you have to look at um, is the grand scheme of things. Absolutely. And there's one other product that we didn't mention earlier. It's a fairly well brand new one, pretty much. And oh. it's called Hydra Active. And that is an electrolytes rehydration preparation, which also contains Cyactive. The same caveats on that one. If you feel you need that, if you want to get it from a cereal company, absolutely. Love you too. You need to be aware that that one is sweetened as well. They had those free packets that they sent in the orders in the, in the auto ships. And I had one of those, actually. I've only had one. And I'll tell you what, mm. I didn't notice the association that night that I took it, but I had the epiphany the next morning. Mm. I felt exhausted, not in a bad way. I felt like just really relaxed. And I woke up the next morning thinking I've never had that happen. I had the same activity level that day that I usually do. And I, I woke up and I was thinking about it because I thought something was wrong. I'm one of those people that if there's the slightest difference in my life, it's like, what caused that, right? No, I realized the only difference was taking that product. And so then I thought, well, it wasn't a bad thing. It was a good thing. It relaxed me. I looked at the one of the first ingredients is magnesium i went ah you know i'd, I'd probably reduce it to that but okay so Good. what is your success story with respect to cerul are there any others that you would like to share as well that are significant enough sure okay uh personally i was diagnosed as a 39 year old some years ago now as having advanced age-related wet macular degeneration my eyes apparently at that time were those of a 70 to 80 year old wow and I was given no hope. I was basically told by the leading specialist in New Zealand where I live that I could expect to be legally blind by about 45. It was around about that time that I came across the Cerul, or the predecessor to the Cerul company at that time, and found this product and et cetera, et cetera. The rest is history. Such history, including the last time I sat down with an optometrist about a year ago. No lying is two years ago. I'm a year overdue for my test. New optometrist, hadn't seen this one before. They didn't have my records. New optometry place altogether, different company. I'm just Joe Bloggs off the street. First time they've ever seen me. I sit down, they look in the eyes, they take the photos, they do all of that stuff. They test my eyes, they give me a prescription, which by the way is less than the one before. Interesting. Most importantly, they say absolutely nothing about my eye health to me at all. Yep. And I go, 
so any issues at all? Any concern at all? And I saw you taking the photos there and looking at them. And, uh, you know, do they look all right? And she said, yes, absolutely. You, the, your eyes look fine for a bloke in his mid-30s. And I said, well, thanks very much. I was 50 at the time. And that's great news. So this irreversible disease, or at least irreversible according to the allopathic definitions of what they are able to do. Yeah, allopathic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going blind. Get ready. Suck it up. No, my eyesight is better than it was then. Right. That's my story. That and also a bunch of other things on health conditions, which had largely been dealt with by Carnival, but just needed that bit to finish off. By the way, my starting on the predecessor Cyril product predates my starting Carnival by some five years. That's important. So there is a good separation yeah. of confounders there. My, my eyesight issues were basically resolved before I began the Carnival diet. So, yeah. There we go. And I had a period when I started the carnival diet when I stopped the Cyril because I did want to separate and see. So that's how I can say, well, things that have been sorted to some level or whatever by carnival actually with Cyril superimposed, so much more powerful. I've spoken about those kind of things many times on my channel previously. So to save time today, people just go to my channel and look in a playlist called Adult Stem Cell Related Videos. It's all there. There's also a testimonial there from my dear old mum, which people might be interested in. And, you know, there's a bunch of stories out there come and join us and we'll tell you all the stories we kind of shy away from telling too many stories publicly for general consumption because we're very careful we don't want to make any therapeutic claim or be seen to be but come and talk to us behind the scenes we'll, we'll tell you what happened with this person right. and that person yeah so let's get to the fun stuff company or business info questions you know how much Ooh. actually can you make this rule yeah. and should you become an ibo with the rule Yes, you should become an IBO with Cerule if for no other reason that that qualifies you to take part in the three and free program, which was that thing I was alluding to earlier when I said stick around to the end. If you have a retail customer yourself that you've introduced to your business as an IBO, if you have three of those buying a given product, you can have that product yourself from the company without charge. So if you have three wellness packs, ABC, aunt, brother, cousin, for example, then your wellness pack that you would have to pay for or to the company, they say, we, we don't want your money anymore for that. You can have that for free, as long as you maintain aunt, brother, and cousin buying that thing every month. Right. Awesome. Additionally to that, there are seven or eight other income streams that you can generate as an IPO if you want to by putting in a little bit of effort into promoting Cerule products to a wider audience in some way, either person to person in your brand X life, whatever you're doing, or as a social media influencer, like what I'm doing, like what Eddie's doing, just basically taking the PR role and getting this thing in front of people saying, look, this stuff exists. Did you know that? And here's where you can get it from. That's how difficult it is to make the sale once people understand what the stuff is and what it does. A person, a given person, can easily make a comfortable average salary in commissions very, very part-time over two to five years of consistent effort doing the right things every week. A person who might be slightly more successful in that regard could easily end up on a mid-range six-figure income in a similar time frame or to slightly more, maybe five to seven years. Sky's the limit in terms of how much is possible. It just depends on how effective you are at getting your message in front of people that haven't heard it yet. Yeah. Being proactive is important with it. Yeah. 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 So how does the money system really work with Cerule? Right. So when a person that you have personally introduced to Cerule as a retail customer, when they buy product, you receive retail markup from the company. They'll pay that directly to you. So they charge that person's credit card. They take that person's address and details and whatever, and they ship that product to that customer at their expense, the company, and they'll still pay you the full retail markup that you're due as if you had been a shop selling that product to that person. So that's the first and most obvious income stream sell products to people mm -hmm. the next income stream is in you get paid an override based on your volume and your entire group of organization of people it's one of these multi-level businesses but it's not run like any other multi-level business i've ever seen and the way we teach it here and what we're asking people to do you wouldn't even necessarily think of it that way and we certainly aren't running around doing what multi-level marketers used to do no Right. Um, but it's a way of getting people appropriately remunerated for effort of connecting people to product and getting that product moved to an end consumer. 
Yep. You get paid for the volume you generate, and rightly so. So it becomes passive and repeat, basically, to the point where, you know, my example is I'm at a level now where the input in terms of hours per week into my business is probably five to 10. That's what it is. Right. I, and I'm, it, it's not, isn't, I'm not saying, aren't I great? N not at all. Ask my mum. She will tell you I'm not at all great or impressive in any way, shape, or form. Neither am I special. And in this life, we suffer pain, son. And over the road, it's the same, is what she'll say. And when will you shut up? Is the other thing she'll say. But there you go. What I'm suggesting is that's the kind of thing that is available to a person with just a bit of get up and go who wants to put themselves out there social media wise, because that's the way I believe it should be done, and promote this product to an audience. So well, I think that's actually a good note to end on. We made pretty good time. I do want to thank you for coming on and telling us more about the products and let you talk about them. You know, I talk about them a little bit, but it's good to have someone else talk about them. So well, with that being said, of course, everyone on my channel, you are probably already subscribed to Bart, but if you're not, go ahead and subscribe to him. His link is on the screen as well. If you want to go buy Cerule through his link, my link will be at the bottom of the screen, like always. And buy it from him. We both get paid. Yeah, forgot forgot about that. Forgot that detail. But you know, maybe I'll have you on again. We can talk about them in more detail later on. Any extant issues. But with that being said, yeah, th thanks for jumping on here. And Pleasure. I'll talk to you some other time. Ciao.